this is the thing that I tell people is that you can't say, well, the standard of care, if you go to the standard of care, let's, for instance, let's say you go to the literature and you pull up a paper that was done in um, 2010 and you say, well, this, was the, this is what the standard of care was in 2010. You do know that fully guided type four guides weren't available in 2010. So let's say the topic of the conversation was guided versus non-guided and they did a systematic review in 2010. The guided solution that they had in 2010 does not look like the guided solution that was invented in 2017. Seven years later, when we had the ability to do process-driven protocols starting from the end and backing into the surgical plan and then having a guide that would facilitate a implant placement within 200 microns of that said plan is completely different than the, than, than the systematic review from 2010 because they didn't have that technology. So if they didn't have the technology and the conclusion is that the free-headed and guided, maybe, maybe the conclusion in that report was that they're comparable. Well, that's just nonsense. And you can't look at that and say, well, this is a systematic review. It's, it's the highest level of, of data that we have in the industry. Well, you could say that, but the problem is it's, it's obsolete. That, that data is obsolete. 